Welcome back to the Yukon 4-H Idea Lab. Today we are focusing on our Yukon 4-H Healthy Living Curriculum. And this week we are going to be doing our Mindfulness Curriculum. You want to look for the kit that says Mindfulness, has the paper, and your palette of paint. Let's go over what's in this week's kit. So, in the bag you have a piece of cardstock paper. This is what we're going to be doing our piece of art on. You have some watercolor paints that we'll be using, and you have this week's Career Connection card, which this week is Art Therapist, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Some other things that are not in your kit that you're going to need for today's activity. You're going to need a couple of paper cups. They can be paper, they can be plastic, just something disposable, and you want a couple of different sizes. I, so I have two paper cups, and then I have just a like a coffee cup lid. You just want something circular that you can use to trace uh, on your paper. And then I have a piece of cardboard that I just cut that I'm just using for a straight edge. You want two cups with water. And then you also want something, I just have a piece of cardboard here that you can put on your table so you don't get your table covered in paint when you're doing your artwork because these watercolors do tend to want to bleed through a little bit, and so you want to make sure that you're not making a mess on the table. You're going to want two permanent markers. I have two Sharpies here. I have a thick one and a thin one, and I also have some paper towels so that I can always be able to clean up as I go. What we're going to do today is we're going to make a piece of art with the focus of mindfulness. To be mindful means to be in the moment. And so our art today is going to focus on just being in the moment. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to just trace and design and be in the moment. So the great thing about this piece of art is that we don't want to have a plan. We're just going to kind of go with what's, what's working for us at the time. So as soon as I can get the plastic off our paints here. You'll need to do this as well when you get your kit. There we go. And so I'm going to take a cup and I'm going to start with my thin marker. And I'm just going to trace the shape of the cup on my marker. You want to use a paper cup because if you use a regular cup from your kitchen, drawing all the circles, you may get marker on the edge and that might not be the healthiest thing. So that's why I'm using paper cups that I can just throw away when I'm done. I'm going to make another circle here. You can make, and then I'm going to take my big one and I'll make a circle that kind of intersects. And the whole idea is just let your mind wander, let your creativity flow. Again, you want to be in the moment. I'm going to take my big marker now and I'm going to take my, my flat edge and maybe I'll draw a couple of lines through. Again, just, just kind of going with it. I don't have a plan. So maybe I'm going to put another circle now. Actually, I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a big circle. You get the idea. And now when you're done, and you can make as many or as few as you want, you're going to have a bunch of designs on your paper. Okay? So, so now... I'm going to switch to my paint, and these are watercolor paints, so I'm sure many of you have used these before, but the way they work is you need to get them wet. So that's why I have two cups of water here. I have one to use with my paint, and then the other one's just to clean off my brush when I change colors. And I'm going to grab a paper towel for myself, so when I'm ready to clean, I can. So I'm going to Get my, get my brush wet, and I think I'm going to start with some blue. I need to get a little more water so I can activate the paint. And see, I'm going to color over here. And the nice thing about this paint is if you want to make your colors darker, use a little less water in your paint. If you want to make your colors more light, use more water. A little more water in there. Okay. 
again, just use your creativity. The nice thing about this activity is, again, being in the moment. There's no right or wrong, wrong way to do this. It's just what you're feeling at the moment, how you want to be creative. And that's the nice thing about an, an art activity. I love doing art because I can be creative in the moment and just kind of do what I want. Your palette comes with your colors and a paintbrush. So you should have everything you need to be able to paint. So now you'll see I painted that, but I didn't paint the whole circle because I might do a different color kind of where they cross over. So now I'm going to clean the blue off my brush. I want to switch my colors. I'm going to take this and I think I'll try orange now. I'm going to see I'm in the middle there. I'm going to do my orange. If you go over the lines, that's okay. You want to use a permanent marker, however, to draw your lines because if you use a washable marker, when you get it wet with the water from your paint, it's going to smudge the marker and it's going to kind of make a mess. So you want a permanent marker that's going to hang on to that color. Let's see. I'm going to move my paper around so I'm not putting my my arm into my picture. And just be creative. More water. Always remember you want to stay in the moment, being mindful of what you're doing at that particular time, it's okay to let your mind wander. I like doing jigsaw puzzles because they're great times to let my mind wander when I'm building. Clean off my brush a little bit. And there you go. You just keep adding colors, do whatever design you want. I did one of these as an activity a few weeks ago when I was at a training. And I want to show you what I made that time so you can get an idea. This was what I came up with at that moment when I was kind of in that moment. I just started drawing circles and things just kind of kind of happened. And I'd try one color and then I would try something different and put this in here. And, and so be creative, have fun, be in the moment, and show us what cool stuff you create. Have a great day. Also, this week's Career Connection card is Art Therapist. Be sure to read about our art, what an art therapist does and learn more about great careers around healthy lifestyles that you can take part in. Have a great day and have a good time. Talk to you next time.